Okay, well, this is the Three of Pentacles. Underlying energy. Basically, it's about facing the future. And Seven of Swords. Why do you have the Seven of Swords coming up? Page of Wands. So you took a risk on something that was seemingly just lighthearted and fun. And I feel like now you're just planning the future with somebody. I feel like it developed way more than you probably expected it to. You took that leap of faith. Happy about it now. But the thing is that thing is that's kind of um, concerning me the most here is this Five of Cups energy that's right in the heart of your reading, which would suggest that there's something that you feel is missing or or yeah, obviously not lacking. Because if it was lack, it would just be the Five of Pentacles, not the Five of Cups. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may be feeling that either something's missing or there's something that you don't have in this relationship that makes you feel very stable right now. And I don't know, I don't know whether that, what that is. I don't know what exactly you're looking for. It could be that you just feel like there's something missing altogether. Um, there's something that you just feel like you have to have in order to feel like you guys have gotten to a place where you guys are feeling more stable. I feel like there's the two cups there. Everybody's happy. Everybody's in love. But there's just like, there's nothing maybe official. Maybe nobody made it official exactly. I think there's plans for the future, like ideas of where you want to go with this relationship. But there's just like, you don't really have like the said stable situ, you know, l label on it. If that makes sense. Like there isn't anything that actually makes it feel like you guys have actually gotten to a place of stability and support. That doesn't mean you haven't gotten to a, not in a very established relationship. It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything because you do have the lovers in your present, which to me tells me that you guys have a profound connection. I mean, there's love there. I just think that there may be something here that you feel is missing, which probably really isn't missing. You know, the, nothing's really missing. Nothing's affecting how you guys are together. It's just, you know, there may be some certain things that you look for to feel like you're in a stable relationship. Now, in the past, you had the Nine of Cups. So you got everything you wanted. You got what you wanted. You got, you know, you have your wish here. This is contentment. Feeling good about where you are. And I feel like, yeah, you guys felt good about, you know, you got your wish. Whatever. I feel like your wish was the lovers. Right, but you felt content in yourself. You can felt content in your life. You felt like you're doing good by yourself. You know, like when I mean by yourself, I mean like you were doing things right by yourself. Like you were doing good with you know being good and loyal to yourself. If that makes sense. And I feel like that's what y'all were doing. You were doing the best that you could with what you got, and you were happy with where you were. And then now you have the lovers here, which indicates that to me that yeah, you have found love now. You found love outside of yourself. Because you loved yourself, you found love outside of yourself. Now, the thing is, is that even though you found love outside of yourself, there isn't a lot of things that show that you guys have gotten to a place of fire commitment or stability. You know, for Wands is crossing that. I don't think, and it could be that there is a, you know, there's a distance between you and this individual or like either physical or spiritual. But I don't think that there is really much that's going to keep you guys apart. And when I say there's a distance, I really mean like, I really feel like that just means that there's just like, you know, there's a freedom between you two that is, it feels like a little too free, almost like as if we're like, we're romantic interests rather than relationship interests. But I feel like it's way more exclusive than that. Um, when it comes to the lovers, the illusion is that there's a choice. You know, to choose between two different people when the actual choice is to move forward with it. And actually, just to just trust yourself and go with what you love. And I feel like you guys do love this person. This person probably loves you back. And I feel like you do. You wouldn't have the lovers come up otherwise. So it's just that it's that four of wands. It's like, why isn't this official yet? And I feel like with that five of swords, you kind of do everything in your power to make sure that kind of happens with that five of swords kind of being that empty victory sort of situation. I feel like you guys know that you're in a really great relationship with someone, but it's that, you know, not being in a relationship thing that kind of makes you feel like a little uneasy. And I do get the sense that you may even start doubting whether or not this relationship is a good thing to pursue if this person may, may not be ready to put a label on it or may not be ready to, to move forward in that respect. And I feel like if this person is yours, you don't need to have a label. Does that make sense? You don't need to have anybody tell you or it doesn't need to have like a ring on it or something to show it. The five, wands are energy, right? There's nothing physical about it. And I know it's like, 
it's not it's you want to move to a higher place of commitment and i feel like there's love there but maybe there's something here that just doesn't feel like you're in a stable place and i feel like right now it's it's understandable which is why this the moon in the nine of swords came out in the first place you guys are not feeling that great with things not being very stable very certain very clear Everything's kind of like tossed in the air and I feel like there may have been some things that have been went down that may be between you and this individual feels like a loss or feels like there's just something that's now missing that you feel you need to kind of become something unified which it doesn't necessarily need to be. I do feel like that five of swords does feel like you know you're just kind of either you kind of do everything in your power to make sure it works or or if not that then I feel it more so than it's like there's a bit of an inner saboteur, you know, because it feels unstable. You kind of, you you want to just be careful with that energy because, you know, you may want to do stuff. You may want to have a certain outcome and it just may not be the time for it. Maybe just right now is just about feeling good, being in each other's energy and just kind of riding that wave and just seeing how things will turn out rather than kind of pushing it. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't think that pushing is the, the best idea for the time being. Okay. And especially in the future, just let it be right now. Because I feel like right now the focus is too much on what's gone. And I feel like that's why I feel, feel, things feel very unclear, very uncertain, feel a little bit uneasy. Because it's just that you're just, there's a lot of focusing on what isn't there. And it doesn't need to be there right now if it isn't there. It will come when it comes. And I feel like that's what you guys got to know. And I think you guys truly feel that. And I feel like you guys really want to just believe that. But it's kind of hard, especially when you feel so, you know, open with someone like that. You've, you know, you've opened your heart like that to someone. That can be very hard to have faith, but truly have faith in yourself. Because this is where it's coming from. If you have faith in yourself, you have faith in the other person. Now, your goal and ambition is to cherry. You do want some victory. You do want something to be successful and things to pick up, something to move forward. And I feel like everything is. I don't think there's any stopping it. I feel like right now, I feel like the only kind of snag that you got is five of cups. You got the three of pentacles in your in your goal aim ambition, which talks about planning for the future, seeing what's going on, you know. And I feel like you guys are in love. Now the situation is too is that you have the hermit as your external energy, which does indicate that you're going within yourself, you're taking time to look within, and I feel like you do know that you love this person. I feel like you do know that you are you're coming to realize within yourself that you do have feelings for a person, for another one, you know, for another individual. And I feel like maybe you've been keeping that to yourself, which I don't think so. I feel like that's kind of, you guys have already kind of been there and said what you felt like you wanted to say because the lovers is there. Um, but you feel some sort of profound connection. And I feel like, yes, that has kind of, you know, you know, that's something that you're really clear about as far as retrospection goes. You know that you're in love. The, the hermit talks about search in, internal search, you know, finding the keys that's missing within yourself to unlock the certain capability that gets you to your dreams, right? That roadblock that you feel that only you have to fix, that you, only you can fix, you know? And it could be confidence, it could be willpower, it could be balance. There's a lot of things that the hermit will go within himself to, rig, to figure out what circuits are not working. And as a matter of fact, even though this is a card for Virgo, you Scorpios, you do that very well. You guys go in and you find the source, the the real issue, and it has, and you know, you always know that the the core issue, the core source to something not working in your life has to do with within yourself. What's not balanced? What do you feel is missing within you? And that's the thing. I feel like that's the situation. There's something that you feel is missing within yourself. And I don't think it's the fact that, you know, that you don't have what it takes. I feel like it may be that it's the confidence, you know, you know, the confidence that without being, you know, without having, or you know, a certain stable situation come up, which I feel like you guys already have a very stable relationship. It just doesn't feel that way. I feel like there's just there's something that you perhaps need to shift your focus on or shift your, your you know perspective on because I feel like you guys are in a very stable relationship. If this person, like I said before, if this person is yours, they're yours. They're yours. But it's like, why don't you feel that they're yours without certain things, without feeling a certain way? You know what I mean? Now, 
your outcome is awesome. You have the Ace of Cups starts. There's a new love. This new, a new beginning in love. And I feel like that's what you guys are going to go into. You guys are obviously doing that right now. Starting this new beginning of love. Lovers. I mean, I feel like you're doing that now. I feel like it's going to continue to progress. Usually you pair the outcome with the future. But I feel like with everything that's kind of happening right now. Lovers. The, you know, the, the, um, hermit. The ace of cups. You know, those th three to me. They're all work, you know. And the, in a way, they're all happening all at once. And there's no such thing as time, right? Time is measurable. You know, there's actually, time is actually fluid. That's why when you get future readings, it can be kind of a little bit wonky and inconsistent and, and not very on point because they're not, time is not, you know, truly measurable, you know, not in that regard. So with the Ace of Cups there, I feel like, yeah, this situation is happening now. But I feel like, it becomes something more after that five of swords because you're trying to do something at that point you're trying to get to something at that point let me see i'm going to go ahead and clarify the five of swords what is the five of swords for scorpios in the future the two pentacles okay i was thinking it was doubt at first and I said it was like, be careful that under saboteur, right? Kind of picking two people. Be careful that, or picking, you know, you know, trying to decide whether or not this is something that's worth the effort or the trouble doing. And I'm just going to say this, y'all. If you got more than one person around you right now, if you know that you feel connected with one person, you know, just, I would say just give that time. And um, if you just, if there's someone else on the side, someone else that's, you know, it's nice to be around someone that can promise you commitment, but you don't really have that connection, that same connection as the other person. You know, you really just want to see, you know, observe. I'm not going to try and tell you what to do and how you live your life, but just observe. And I feel like with the two of pentacles there too, it could be that, yeah, you may be doubting whether or not this is something you really actually want to pursue. You're looking at the practical aspect versus how you feel. And that's where it can get carried away. Look at how you feel. Not what's missing. Well, you know, obviously there's something missing within yourself emotionally. So you have to find that out with it. That's why the hermit's there. But look within to find out what you truly feel for this person, for this relationship, for this connection. If it's not a relationship just yet. Because you may have something that can grow to something amazing. You just may have to either, you know, there may be some things that you may have to do later on. But I don't think now is the time for it because... Everything is about obviously taking taking your time, retrospecting, looking at things. You may feel good in the moment, but remember this is Venus retrograde. We don't want to make any decisions so fast. And especially none that will probably reverse itself by the end of the season. You know what I mean? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at your romance angels. Any decisions, any things that you feel right now regarding relationship, love, and everything, if it, if it stays that way... If it's, if it, if it remains that way by the end of the season, you know, something's got some, you got something good, right? Which is the 16th of November, y'all. That's the end of Venus going retrograde. And then, but you go through that shadow period. So you go through all the degrees that Venus went through, you go back, but that's the thing, right? Don't make any huge decisions right now. Now you guys have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Now, three, three cups, period, the card itself is, talks, is support. People within your close network. So I think it's interesting. And I feel like, yeah, a lot of people to help you be support, let, let other people be supportive. Now, if the thing is, if you're having a hard time finding the support from other, someone else, you know, that can be a little bit of an annoying part in itself, right? Um, for a, yeah, which would make sense. I feel like you, there is love there, but if there is a lack in, in support or there isn't any support, you feel like the support's missing in the relationship, then there may be something that you may have to support yourself internally, personally first. And I'd say that because of that hermit there. You know, the hermit's all about social, is all about soul searching. And if there's something lacking outside of you, then there is something lacking within. And it's not to say that you're not perfect. And I'm not trying to say that you're flawed or anything like that. We're, we're humans. We're all going to be some, have some sort of imperfections. I'm not perfect. The whole, like Libras, 
you know, contradiction. We are contradicting, excuse me, a contradiction in itself. We are the balanced element, but we are the least balanced people in the world. Okay. So if there's something lacking, you know, maybe there's something about vulnerability that you have to open up to. Maybe that's the thing. But let's see. You guys have heed your dreams. And this is talking about allowing your dreams to help you manifest your hopes and your, your desires. The Three of Pentacles. Allow yourself to be open to possibilities, especially the ones that you've been wanting to have for some time. Don't crush them. Don't smother them. Don't tell them that they're impossible. Let them be. Just dream, dream, dream. This is a, this is a season where you're going to be retrospecting anyway. So you might as well dream it through, figure out if your dreams are realistic or not and go for it. And I feel like maybe that's the situation here too. Maybe you don't get a lot of support from people regarding a certain avenue in your life that you're trying to get to, whether this is a career or this is a relationship. Maybe there's not a lot of people that support you, but it doesn't matter. That's the point, right? It doesn't matter if they don't support you. Do, do, do you, should you squander your dreams because people don't have you back? It's a blessing to have people that will have your back when they do things. But if they, a lot of times, especially for people that make it big here in this world, they don't have a lot of help. They do it and they, they believe in themselves and they push through it and they have their beliefs. That makes them very strong people because they don't need anyone. And you're the same, Scorpio. You don't need nobody. So right now it's all about what do you feel like you need to feel, to feel like you can be you know, independent, you know, stable, you know, to go after the dreams that you want to pursue. What do you feel that you need for yourself? That will answer all the questions that you ever need. Because then you'll never need to look for it elsewhere. And that way it would be easier for people to give it to you because you don't even need it. It's weird. Trust me. I know. But trust me. <sighs> you'll understand what I'm saying when you do it. 